morning, Lala. <clears throat> My squirrel's here. <clears throat> he's not come up the step yet. But I'm standing here. You know he's going to come up. You know he is. I got walnuts. What's he doing? I put too much down there. He's not coming up. My sweetie squirrel. Come on, sweetie squirrel. Good morning. There's our beautiful son. <clears throat> Let me see if I can put you right here. I'm trying to find a way to put you up so you can see. Oh, it's not very good stand. <clears throat> I can give you a better, <clears throat> better view. Better, better view of Happy Squirrel. Ooh, that's not great either. I think I have to turn the chair. Let's turn the chair. Yeah, I have to. I did work in te television once upon a time. So I went to get good shots, but I didn't have little iPads to work with. Okay, there, that's good. That's good, see? <clears throat> this is where it comes. Good morning, everybody. Wow, it's not much above freezing today. I may not be doing this all that much longer. If it gets this pretty soon, you'll see me in a parka. Can you imagine me out here in a parka? Snow on the deck, and even the little squirrel. The squirrel will be warmer than me because it's got a fur coat. <clears throat> they come all winter. It was funny because when I first came out, he was over by the park and he ran all the way here. He saw me come out. Zip, zip, zip. Zip came the squirrel. I should call him Zippy the squirrel. I'll tell you if I see him. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. <clears throat> I'll tell you some something I was doing. I was looking up squirrels on the internet. About people that have had squirrels as pets, and I'll tell you, it really does deter you to even think about it. It said that squirrels like to have their area clean, okay, but not anywhere else. Not your house, nowhere. So it's not a good idea to have a squirrel as a pet. If you put them in a cage, they will take anything that's not clean and throw it out of their cage. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. If they eat half a bug, they will throw the other half out of their cage. This is what I read. And then I saw another video where, oh, this was ridiculous. Some kid picked up a squirrel. This was on YouTube. Just pull it up on YouTube, feeding squirrels and stuff. Some little kid picked up a big squirrel and was holding it and saying, Mommy, Mommy, can I keep it? And there was, they're saying, oh, it's cute, but no, you can't keep it. And while they're talking like this to the kid, the squirrel's str struggling trying to get away. I mean, they're thinking it's a kitten or something, you know, it's not, it's a wild animal. And so they're holding the squirrel and it's trying to get away and the squirrel bit the kid. Well, what do you expect? The squirrel's frightened, the squirrel doesn't want to be there. And then there was the kid screaming, oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to get raped, pizza. This was all on YouTube. Yeah, just pull it up on YouTube. You see all sorts of stupid stuff. Oh, and there was one. Try, try typing in squirrel box and there's a squirrel that somebody had in a box. He says, look at this, the squirrel just chases me. He won't leave me alone. Well, it was the most hilarious video, but what it looked like it was a baby squirrel that somebody probably had kept in the house since it was tiny, tiny and decided it was time to get to release it. So this little baby squirrel kept chasing him 
Oh, I'm still looking for, for uh, Zippy. I'm calling him Zippy now. Zippy the squirrel. While well, I'm talking to you. <coughs> anyway. Um, okay, this was on YouTube. So you can pull it up by squirrel in a box or something like that. But anyway. So this little squirrel was chasing this guy. Like he'd go, he'd try to get him out of the box. And then he'd run. And the squirrel would run after him. And he thought he was some crazy squirrel. Well, he was a little baby squirrel. And it looked like the squirrel, somebody had him as a pet and tried to release him into the wild. And all the squirrel seemed to want was to, to get, uh, get his, you know, get to a human to feed him because he was used to it as a little baby, but somebody had released him. So, no, it, the squirrels are not good pets, but they're good outdoor, outdoor little pets. You know, like mine, you know, when you, you get them here and they come and scurry around, but, you know, be careful. Because they do have very, very sharp claws. I've been lucky. I fed them, fed them a few times, but I'm still, as my husband calls me, I'm still squirrel girl because I get nervous every time I hold my nut. But I'm an adult, so <laughs> if it happens to me, if he scratches me, well, there you go. But you don't let your little kids grab a squirrel and pick it up. I tell you, don't do that. And if a squirrel does bite you, it's not to, it's not the squirrel's fault. Anyway, I'm, I'm not seeing him come back. Let me see. Zippy, zippy, zippy. something and went off. Well, I guess that's my scope for the moment because, uh, and we missed him. So I'll just erase the scope so that uh, the next one that comes up, like I'll be on. That way you get a habit of if you rewind, if you come back to see replays, if they don't show up, you don't, you don't go up to replay them. No critters. Because sometimes I'll be here a bunch of times and then I finally put on my periscope and they have come from Anyway, I'll come and take a look at the text because I did, ha hadn't been chatting to you guys. I was just telling you stories here. Let's see how you're all doing. Hi. How are you doing? I missed any comments. Sorry about that. I was telling you about squirrel life. <laughs> Hey, I was playing my husband's bass this morning. Hi again. Hi. I'll bring you in. Let me see if I can do this. I was playing, uh, we may as well do something else while we wait for him. This is pretty cool. I was learning, um, you know, I don't want my hubby to get upset because he worked so hard on learning the bass. But I, w I asked him, I asked him first. I said, do you mind if I try, if I try, uh, what was it? Money by Pink Floyd. Never played it in my life. I said, you know, I don't want to get him upset because you know, he works so hard to learn it. Okay, okay, I'm going to put it on. Here we go. Put it right here. Put the amp on. I'm just keeping an eye out for the squirrel because I'm right beside him. Here, I'll put the amp on. Okay. You know, in my vo my videos, he is nice. He's a nice, beautiful bass here. Okay, here we go. I put my reading glasses on. Oh yeah, here's my uh, salute and hockey player. Got to have your salute and hockey player behind you. Okay, okay. This is the beginning of Money Pink Floyd. This is after like ten minutes practice. What I can do. Roll up my sleeve. You can hear that though, I guess. Eh? Okay, here we go. Some tiny print. Tiny print.
Oops, five. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Money. Money by Pink Floyd. Money. I'm getting I'm learn I just learned it. <laughs> On the base. That sounds cool, eh? Thank you, thank you. Ten minute ten minutes practice there. I'm trying to learn it is uh, I'm working on working on seven eighth time seven eighth time <coughs> which this is in and so is fly me to the moon by Frank Sinatra they're both in seven eighth time so look here I can show you what seven eighth time sounds like seven eighth time okay that's that's um Yeah, it's kind of a peculiar time. Like you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here it goes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got it going slowly here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. See, I don't think I could play it that fast. Let's slow it down. Here's our music lesson for the day. This is often used in, in you know, like big band music and stuff, but it's very interesting. It Yeah, and it's very interesting that Pink Floyd used it for money. Yeah, I think Floyd used it for money. Okay. I gotta just get this right down the start here. Hold on. I'm doing it really slowly though. You can count it once I start. Seven-eighth time. One and two and three and four and five and six, seven. <laughs> and I can't, I can't count and play. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's funky. You learn so much from musicians when you're in radio that. I'm reading what you're saying here. Dusty. You're a musical artist. Yeah, wow, well, yeah. Well, you know, uh, there's something to that, you know. The one thing about working in radio is I got to ask some... I'll stop this for a sec. Yeah, who would have thunk... Who would have thunk that something like fly me to the moon, fly me to the moon, fly me to the moon, let's fool the moon, the stars, da, 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 that that's in seven, eighth time is so, and so is money. Money is in seven, eighth time. And, um, you know, uh, I'm just learning that. I mean, I played piano, but I mean, most of the music I've done has always been in the, you know, traditional signatures, but I'm learning a bit more about the more elaborate, you know, more unusual. Both are very good. Both are very good. Yeah. I'm still looking for my squirrel, by the way. So people that tuned in thinking they're looking at a squirrel, I'm not a squirrel. Even though my husband calls me squirrel girl sometimes when he, when I'm, when I'm timid about something, he says, you're being a squirrel girl. We got that. <laughs> 
want to see the little birds out there. But yeah, um, actually, that's true. Lala had a very good point there about uh, music and um, having worked in radio. It's helped me in what I do. It actually, and I've always played music. I've never been a professional, and uh, um, but my expertise, I really believe, is not in playing instruments, it's writing songs. And it's just getting my motivation to write. To, I'm going to do that. That's my determination this winter, is I'm going to just write and write a bunch of songs and put together, put together an online album. You can hear a couple of my songs. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You can hear a couple of my songs online. Um, they're not great, but hey, I'm, I'm not planning to make great recordings. I'm planning to make songs that hopefully somebody else will pick up. But uh, that's... I had actually... Um, wasn't not a couple... You, Peggy Lee wrote songs. Carol King, remember Carol King? She started writing songs very young, very young. Great songwriter. You think back on all the great songwriters, a lot of women. But, you know, I'm starting late on songwriting in my life. Like, you know, I, I, I wrote them when I was younger. I think my first song I ever wrote was back in, like, I was 20, 21. But I just didn't pursue it. You know, I didn't have the time. I didn't have resources. Now I've got a lot. There's so many more resources. Yeah, I'm young. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, you'll notice that sometimes at, at, at award shows, you'll see a, academy, uh, even Academy Awards for the song competitions, for song competitions, or you know, or, you know, in, in the song categories, that the writers of the songs aren't are nearly as are quite a lot older than the performers of the songs when they get the song awards, and the Jun Junos here in Canada or. The um, Grammy Awards, the people that write the songs are often quite a lot older than the people that, they're important categories, yes, the people that write the songs are um, a lot older. Think of, just think of the periscopes I've been doing. You know, I thought about this, uh, the topics I can come out, pull out of just the periscopes. That I can think back and just think of some of the, the nature I've seen, some of the peaceful, you know, if the, if the, uh, <laughs> if the Eagles hadn't already done it, I could have done peaceful, easy feeling just from looking out my backyard, you know. I've got all sorts of How many songs are there about squirrels, right? How many songs are there about squirrels? <laughs> I could write, I could be a specialist on writing a song about a squirrel. You're amazed from the Yeah, song about a squirrel. Yeah. So uh, now I need to look. I, I need to be able to do some at least some basic recording now. I've done a little. I had a song. I have to tell you this one, Lala, and and folks. Hockey Night in Canada was looking for a new theme song a couple of years ago, and uh, okay, the vocals on it were not good, I, I admit. I only did a one take because I figured, okay, I just got to get this song in so I have the song in. But the music was pretty good, and the song is good, so I'm going to go back and do it. But um, um, you, you can find it. I did quite a good ho song about hockey. It was called, uh, what was it? It wasn't hockey night tonight. It was something like that, though. Uh, tonight it's hockey night. I, but I need to learn my own songs. You know, I need to, because I don't practice them. I don't practice my own song. Oh, here, oh, here if you want to take a picture, take a picture of me and hubby's bass. That would be nice. <laughs> I don't usually have a bass in my hand. <laughs> Anyone know what this is? One of the first things I learned on bass. From a TV show. You don't need to practice really. Uh, yeah, you gotta practice all the time. Oh, there's a squirrel out here, but it's a it's it's not my friend. It's a different squirrel. What we got here? There's always a squirrel. 
Who's that? Who's that? Who's that at my door? That's, that's a little black squirrel. He, the little black squirrels are quite skittish. They are. Maybe that's why the gray squirrel's not there. Hi, honey. Always coming right up to the window. There we are. Look at that little squirrel. Hey, they've got a lot of. Ah, he's running away. Running away. Usually something scares them. Or else they got a mouthful of. <laughs> oh, it's a deer. That's a deer. A deer there. Look. I'm sorry. There's a deer. Seriously, it was a deer that scared them. Hold on. Down. We've got a deer. See him right at the bush. They're all coming to visit me this morning. I was wondering why the squirrel took off so fast. That's just a little deer. Look, you can hardly see him over the top of my top of my head. Oh, look, and there's the squirrel. The squirrel came back. What a great place for me to sit and practice music, eh? I can just sit there and practice. I sit there and practice, and I just get to see these guys show up. Hope he pops his head up. Come on, honey, pop your head up. Oh, there we are. Yeah, that's a good place to practice, and I can see, uh, I can see uh, all the birds and critters as they come by. Bert, no, I've got a deer right now. Yeah, a giant squirrel. Is it some documentary? It's called uh, My Back Porch. Probably be a pheasant next. That's a deer, yeah. Where is he? That's a deer, not a squirrel. Yeah, well, the squirrel was here too. I know. Oh yeah, and he even had a had bass player, bass playing uh, smoke. What is it? You came here for a squirrel, you'll get a squirrel. Just hold on. I'm in Calgary all year. Just got to look at his face. Isn't that sweet? Now that's a sweet face. Looking at me. He's looking at you guys. You why? You want to scare the deer? Well, actually, the deer scared the squirrel. The deer scared the squirrel. You're afraid of them. Well, I'll go outside. I'll go outside, and we'll see how we'll see how scared the this deer is. Because uh, some of them are scary, some of them are scared, and some of them aren't. And I got some. I got a snack for the deer. Here, let me see if I got a snack there. So if he stays, he gets a snack. If he doesn't stay. We'll see a nice little done. No, but we have uh, toasty snack. Did you get my 
nice taking the come back. Close the door, the cat gets out. <laughs> they don't like the deer. Oh, they always come back. <laughs> Christmas yet. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing's still, always still looking at me. It was funny, we were just watching a squirrel and the squirrel ran away. Okay, let me look for your squirrel in a second. I'm looking while he's I'm looking for the squirrel. What the heck is that? What is that? What the, oh, what is that? Look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, take pictures, yes. Isn't that gorgeous? Share this. Share that. Oh my god, that was gorgeous. Did you see? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, whoever wanted a squirrel, there's your squirrel. Just make everybody happy. But let's go back and look at this. Wasn't that beautiful? That's one of the most amazing things I've seen standing out here. You're welcome. Oh yeah. Here's your squirrel again. Mummy and babies. It's a private life. <laughs> This discovery or animal planet that was a question earlier no this is just me in my backyard I live in Calgary Alberta and I live at the edge of Fish Creek Provincial Park which goes through the southern part of Calgary it's one of the largest urban parks in North America okay see you later Here, I'll show you your squirrel again having a little snack Oh, he's having a leap. A leaping squirrel. Yeah, take care. Follow me and you'll see more. A leaping squirrel. That's the deer head off.
Oh, now, now we have birds visiting the deer. <laughs> Magpie. Wow, that was like we were on the like National Geographic, wasn't it? Who would say that was like beyond National Geographic? Yes, it was. It was. <clears throat> I'm so glad I came outside to see that. Guys, I'm going to go back inside because these guys, th these deer like to, to get snacks here, so I don't want to scare them. I'll let them come back up. Oh, we've got some blue jays and stuff. I'm going to go back inside. I'm going to leave the scope for the moment. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll come back on when the deer come back closer because they've gone, so you can see, yeah, you can see they've gone quite a ways down the, down the park now. And they'll want to come. Oh yeah, of course, of course. There's always somebody coming by with the dog, so they're gonna go. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be heading into the park now. Okay, I'll.